Hello everyone, my name is Pritom and you are watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I am back with another tech video. Now this is the 10th video of this tutorial series called Cloud Computing with Microsoft Azure. Now in my last video, we have seen the different options that is available for the Azure Virtual Machine and also we have taken a deep dive into the virtual machine. Yes, so we have taken RDP and we have seen what are uh, the things that is present inside of the virtual machine. Okay, and uh, also we have discussed like few of the things that we will do in further videos like Azure Monitor, Azure IAM, all these things. So that will come in the upcoming videos. Uh, if, if you missed the last video, guys, I would request you to go and watch that video because you'd be able to know so many things about the Azure VM, which is very, very important. And uh, the link would be there in the description. And also you can find the link right now here on your screen. Now, in today's video, as you can predict by the name, so we are going to discuss how you can maintain or how you can manage your free $200 or 14,500 Indian in Indian rupees to be able to manage, right? So as you know already, once you sign up for the Azure free account, Azure is going to give you free $200 credit so that you can use their resources and you can practice and you can do stuffs and then you can move to further subscription like pay as you go. Now, all the process of creating free account and uh, why you Azure is providing you the money, all these details, which is already uploaded in my channel. So I'll just give the link in the description. If you have any doubt on free account, creating free account, or if you're looking for Azure free account, you can go and check that video. Okay, now let's go to the Azure portal and let's start explore. So here I am. Uh, you can see this portal.azure.com, the Azure portal address. Now here, to go to the subscription details, I can click on the subscription button here or I can search for subscription here. So let's click on here and uh, here it will show you the amount that you are using or that you have already used. So you can see my subscription name is free trial. These are the details and I have used 3182 rupees as of now. Okay, and now we are going to see that what are the places or what are the resources that cost me this amount of money. And based on that, you'd be able to plan in uh, how you are going to use your different resources. Don't worry, at the end of the video, I'll give you some tips that you can follow to save your money, save your $200. Okay, now let's uh, click on the free trial. And here you'd be able to see uh, details of your subscription, like the default directory. Uh, the, uh, the subscription name that is the free trial and also you are the account admin definitely you are the uh, main admin or administrator of the this Azure account and it will also show you that uh, how many days your credit is remaining so for me it's nine days so after nine days my free credit will be expired so then I would have option to as you go subscription level the next subscription level where uh, they will charge me money and I have to pay at the end of the month from my credit card other than that, I have to use another credit card for using another free $200. Okay, sounds good. But but once you are using the free account, you don't need to worry. Not a single penny will be uh, taken from your account because you are using the free amount that Azure is providing, right? Now, if I just scroll down, I would be able to see here are some charts which is available. Now, like the spending rate and forecast. So you can see the chart based on the date. It is showing how much amount the money you are uh, spending. Also by resource, cost by resource, you can see these are the resources that is costing you money. Now, these are the things we can also find under the cost analysis. We'll just go there. Uh, these are the list of the free services that you are using. So you can check how many uh, you know amount is remaining. Like these for the storage files uh, data, you have one GB per month that you can use free. So now you have used 2.51 out of 5. In the same way, we have different other options that you can check. You can click on the view all free services to check all the free services which is available for you and what are the usage you have done. Also in the left hand side, we have the top products by number of resources. Now, uh, if you go to the cost analysis section, this is the very, very important. You can see this is under the cost management. So we'll go with the cost analysis, cost alert, and the budget. We'll create our budget, yes, by which we'd be able to maintain our uh, $200. So first, I'll go to the cost analysis, and this is uh, the page where you would be able to understand it with the graph and chart. So you can see 
this is the chart that is showing uh, based on the month the amount that is that has been uh, cost so i have in right now 3182 now here this is very very interesting guys you can see based on the service name so these are the service that you have used and what are the amount that services cost isn't it interesting like you can see for virtual machine it has cost me 2000 rupees 2034 rupees uh, for using virtual machine only oh, i mean like i have created three or four virtual machines so it is giving you all the total amount of cost uh, this is a storage so this is a storage service i have used that that cost me 1113 rupees as of now the virtual network that i have used that has cost me 34 rupees and you can see these are the chart that is showing and also i can change it now it is showing based on the service name i can change it to the uh, maybe resource if i click on that the chart will reload based on the resource that you use and this is directly will give you the name of the resource like for an example this is the my vm virtual machine that cost me actually 1000 1441 rupees this is the you know most part of the chart and then we have the test vm that cost me 721 okay this one so this is the list of all these uh, resources that I've used all the virtual machine you can see now this is the disk that cost me 202 rupees so this is a uh, uh, if you remember when we created the virtual machine so we have used the premium SSD so that is the disk and that is cost me 200 rupees so this will give you the details idea of uh, what are the resources that cost you or what the amount of money and what are the services also so you can change the chart by here okay you can uh, select also you have the on the right hand side location so most of the cases as you have seen in my video the first virtual machine that we have created and also we have explored the virtual machine so all we have hosted on east us location uh us east you can see and that has that location has cost me 3118 rupees now the location is not costing me anything so this is showing that the virtual machine that I've used or other devices I've hosted most of the virtual machine or most of my resource group in the location East US. So in East US total, I have spent 3,011, 3,118 rupees in East US two have spent 63 rupees. Okay. So this is how now here on the right hand side, you have, you can see this is based on the resource group name. So my resource group, uh, the resource group that I have created with the name my resource group that resource group has cost me one six one thousand six hundred and seventy Where I probably have put the uh, virtual machines. Okay So this is how this is that all the details of the cost analysis and you can also download it by clicking the download button It will show you the different options You can download it as a PNG like all this chart or you can download it as an Excel or CSV Okay, and then you can click on and then you can click on download data and your data will be downloaded okay you can see now it is asking to download multiple files but i will just click on allow and you can see the file has been downloaded successfully so this is how you can get the report also now this is all about the cost analysis now we will see how we can create budget and there we would be able to understand what is the cost alert now if i click on budget so as you can understand the name you can manage how you manage your daily uh, wages or daily uh, spending amount you know and there are so many apps also available right now in the play store that you can download and it will take care of all the you know expenditure and all the things you are buying all this list of this so in the same way azure is giving you the option so that you can create a budget and maintain your amount okay now to create a budget first i'll go to the budget and you can directly go search for the budget from here and there is no budget present add to create a budget now here uh, you have to provide a name of the budget so i'll provide a name of the budget so i'll give you give the budget name maybe budget 01 anything you can give now the billing month it's fine invoices based on the billing month you can choose based on your requirement now creation date uh, i could give it as september because it's august has already gone so i won't be able to put august because i've started the subscription on august so based on that i could have created the budget earlier but uh, i didn't but you should do that okay uh, now the expiration date should be not 2000 let's take it a small one so uh, october let's choose october yeah so i uh, because i have the free trial for one month only so i can manage the budget in this one month now here what is the amount so the amount i'm getting is 4000 14500 or the uh, 200 dollar 
and then it will show you the chart based on that i mean like the last month have it, it has cost 3131 rupees and based on that what could be the maximum monthly forecast in future then now here we are setting the alert you can see this is the alert section now alert section means what i have mentioned a particular amount that is the third threshold 14500 now i am selecting the condition so first i will choose the actual type as and i will say when 50 percent of my budget which is 7250 so my total budget is 14500 and 50 percent is 7250 so when that amount will be cost uh, an email what i want is that an email will come to my mailbox that will say me that that will say that 50 percent of uh, your balance you have exhausted or you have used okay okay so for that i need to give my email address so let's give my email address here okay it is asking that alert recipients so you have to give the email address and now here the language should be default fine and you can just create the budget once the uh, your budget will cost six seven thousand two hundred rupees uh, you will get an email in your outlook or in your e gmail id anywhere what is the email address i mean it depends on the email address you will give so you'll get an email saying that a 50 percent amount you have used so that's how you have configured so if i click on the budget zero one that i've created just now so you can see these are the things the expiry date and the things so this is how you can configure alert we will know more about azure alert in our future videos when we will deal with the uh, you know azure monitor so we'll understand there also we have the alert and that is very very interesting again also you have some other tabs like access control as i mentioned we will cover it on in the next video actually the identity access management by by which you'd be able to give someone access in your subscription so they would be able to use your azure account so we have covered all these cost management things we also have the advisor recommendations by which uh, you know azure will give some idea that how you can manage or control your uh, you know balance all right now as i said at the end i will give you some free tips so the number one and most important tips would be like once you are not using any virtual machine or any app service anything that you have launched you can just stop that so that uh, that won't cost any money now you can ask me like hey pritam like virtual machine is costing maybe eight per day or nine rupees per day but trust me when you forget you're opening your azure account for two to three days so that means 48 hours almost more than 48 hours so the every hour it is costing you nine rupees remember that and not only the virtual machine that is costing you nine rupees there are many services that is running at the same time like the, your disk like the premium hard disk that is also costing your storage your virtual network so it's always better that that's how that's why we have come to know about the resource group right we have used resource group also in our previous videos where we have created all the virtual machine network all these things in a same resource group so what the advantage that we got that once the we have done using it or we have tested it all the virtual machine all the things then you can directly delete the resource group and all the resource which is there that would be deleted right but the best way would be to once you are not using anything you can just stop it so if you if i go to the virtual machine right now uh, i have one virtual machine i think in place yeah the test vm which is running so once i done testing i can just click on stop and it will be stopped and it won't cost you any money so once you you are using an app service maybe a storage account once done delete the resource group or stop the service okay if you stop the service that will also save you uh, that will also help you to save money but at the same time you can delete the resource group if you are not in need okay so that are the tips so that is the tips guys if you follow this you would be able to manage your free 200 dollar to the whole month trust me this is it for today guys okay so in the next video we will understand about the azure identity access management guys if you find it helpful this video please hit the like button if you have any doubt any question you can ask me in the comment and please share this, this video with your friends and family so that it can reach out to many people thank you for watching guys see you in the next video bye bye take care